So what is this thing that I'm calling a boost pack? Um, <laughs> let me just tell you the story behind this. Here about uh, three weeks ago I went in to have the oil changed on my car. And I've just been running a traditional uh, car battery in there. And uh, of course doing a full service oil change, the guys checked the uh, cranking amps on the battery. He comes back and tells me, uh, you only, only got about 200 cranking amps in this battery. And going into winter you're not going to be able to start on a cold morning. I was sitting there kind of just imagining you know, what I could do with 200 cranking amps, but then the realization set in, you know what, I really ought to take care of this and I don't see any sense on buying another traditional car battery. These things are so full of lead, this, they're heavy, so I set about to build my own uh, car battery replacement. And the result was this thing that I'm calling a boost pack. These are these um, boost cap Maxwell ultra capacitors. I got these for $6 a piece and I've got six of them in this and they're connected in series. And this will give me uh, up to 15 volts. Uh, this usually runs around 14 volts when I have it in the car. Um, man, I have been testing this thing for the last two weeks uh, in my car and it has just worked great. When I first started testing it, um, I put it in there and I took jumper cables with me like ready to use at any time, but after two weeks of using this uh, in my daily commuter car, uh, I built a lot of faith up in this system. Um, I'm really excited about it. Okay, one thing to notice about the traditional uh, car battery is the uh, the weight that we have here. We've got uh, 30 pounds of weight on this this car battery, and the uh, the boost pack that I built up it weighs in at uh, just a hair over five pounds, under 10 pounds. There's a significant weight savings, and uh, that weight savings is important, you know, that can translate into increased uh, miles per gallon. Okay, so um, this looks like it's pretty much ready to test. I'm just going to point out a few things. I've went ahead and ordered what's called a battery brain. It'll shut this off at 11.8 volts. I think for this system, that's too high. I need to build something adjustable because when this thing gets down around 10 volts, this thing still has plenty of cranking amps to start my, my motor here. You know, this thing just... The amperage doesn't taper off the same way the voltage as it does in a regular battery. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and, and start the car and we'll, we'll test this. Um, one of the things I really like about this setup is how nice and quick the uh, car starts. You know, this has plenty of amperage to keep the car happy. <laughs> and uh, just really nice system. You know, I've been testing this two weeks. Sometimes I left the car three, four days. Um, during one period just down and didn't drive it and came back and uh, started right up just like that folks so I think that was three starts let's do a couple more quickly and then let's go look at the uh, voltage so if you notice we we were not giving the uh, alternator very much time to recharge the uh, the boost pack here but let's go ahead and check this out and we're at 12.64 volts about 12.6 volts. So that gives you an idea of the way this behaves. One thing I want to show you here is how quickly this will charge back up to 14 volts uh, as the car's running. So I'm going to start it and we'll get out here quickly and take a look at that. Okay, let's start this up. All right, let's get out here. Watch this, folks. <laughs> that is just charging right back up to four volts. And that's literally how fast this uh, this pack recharges. And you can hear the uh, the draw on the alternator dropping off as it comes up to uh, 14 volts here. So within minutes of starting your car, you're you're topped off again, right back where you want to be at 14. And this car comes at around 14.8 volts, and that's usually where it settles down at. So. So right now I've got the uh, headlights on. I know you probably can't see that. I've got the AC on. So the headlights are just burning out there, drawing down our voltage on this battery bank. I've got the AC on, so I go ahead and start. That's going to engage. Let's try this out. <laughs> oh, I love the sound of that start. You know what it is, is even though the headlights were left on, and let me just get out here and show you that. So even though we have these, uh, these headlights on out here, and headlights going. Let me go ahead and flip those on high beams. Let's just really test test the system here. So now we got the high beams on. So got the high beams on here. We're really drawing down the uh, the voltage on this pack. We're down to 10 volts, 
and dropping. Let's go ahead and start this car up. 10 volts and dropping. I don't know, we're probably at 9 volts. I got the AC on. Listen to this. Starts right up. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about this, uh, this boost pack. So, uh, we're going to test this on some other vehicles. I'm going to build up two more units. Since I only paid $6 a piece for these uh, caps, you know, we're building these in at a really cheap price. Um, you know, they should be coming out at $50 to $100. I'm going to give some of these to some friends. I have a friend who commutes uh, between states with his job a lot. I'm going to give one to him, see if he sees an increase in gas mileage. I'm going to give one to a guy that I know is driving a uh, big Grand Jeep Cherokee. And uh, we're going to test these things pretty hard. And I'll come back with an update here later and see how these do. You know, go a couple months into winter here testing these. But so far, I'm just really happy. And I'm going to be very happy never to have to buy another one of these, you know. And have to deal with the recycling and all the lead that's in these things and all the weight that I've been lugging around. If you think about the amount of weight, pounds of lead I've been hauling around for you know thousands of miles when I could have been hauling this little unit here that weighs in at about five pounds. <laughs> so that's it folks. Let's all keep experimenting. Okay I just want to point out another uh, use case for a boost uh, pack like this. Um, in a small off-the-grid workshop or something along that line, um, these would come in really handy if you don't run a prolonged uh, load. I'm going to show some testing here with the drill press. But if you're the type of person that has a workshop where you just flip on a drill press for you know a minute, two minutes, flip it off, and uh, then come back later to work on something else, maybe you need to power a belt sander for a couple minutes uh, later, one of these you could actually get by with because the solar panel tops these back up really quick and you know with with millions of charge discharge cycles like you've got on these this could be a really interesting off the grid workshop application not so good if you run uh, power tools for a prolonged period though anyway let me just show you what I'm talking about I've got the uh, the power coming from this small 13 watt solar panel and uh, I just laid it here in the car windshield this is one of those por portable 13 watt fold up panels so anyway I set that there um, it's topped this <laughs> this uh, boost pack right back up to uh, 14 volts here in uh, I don't know 10 20 minutes and uh, 15 volts would be the uh, maximum capacity of this particular boost pack but anyway let me just uh, disconnect it from there and connect my uh, inverter here and I'm just connecting this to the uh, the drill press so we got power here and I'm just going to go ahead and, and run this drill press and just see what, what kind of time and workload we can get from this. So. So, uh, three quarter inch plywood, build a nice uh, half inch hole through there, running some lighting here on the operation. Now, if I was just flip this back off, and have if I had this still connected to that solar panel, in just a matter of minutes, this would uh, top right back up. But you know what? Let's test this here. I'm going to flip this back on. It's not connected to the solar panel. Let's just do some more work with it. Um, we'll do some more work. Keep the light on. We'll see what kind of runtime we can just get out of this here. Okay, you can hear the inverter uh, start to squeal there. That means uh, we're starting to get into some low voltage. But you can see I drilled uh, I drilled six holes there and had the light on the whole time. And uh, not bad. <laughs> you know, this boost pack, if I connect this back up to the, uh, 
the solar panel and this thing's gonna be charged up again in just a matter of minutes so you can hear now now the load of the light is bringing this down so I'm gonna disconnect that and uh, you know just just connecting this back up to the solar panel and uh, you know just could just come back here a little while later and have another uh, charged <laughs> charged boost pack to do some more work with so I think that's really cool I think that's a cool application for something like this and you just saw a very practical demonstration of the amount of power you can get in a few minutes from the Sun for free and you know if you had an, another one of these boost packs connected in parallel in a workshop um, you really could have a nice solar application and actually eliminate traditional batteries altogether just be using a boost uh, cap you know what I'm calling a boost pack um, to replace traditional battery in a, a small off-the-grid solar workshop it would be great application and you know what I may do it myself because most of the time when I'm working my workshop I use a you know flip on a drill press for a few minutes run a soldering iron for you know five minutes whatever I think this would cover ninety percent of my uh, my needs right here so anyway thought that was interesting so besides just using it in my car it's got practical application for you know quick charging off the grid uh, workshops and other things along that line when it works so well for you know running the lights at, at night where you want to set in run lights for two three hours at a time or things along that line but still has great practical value